Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's a great pleasure to welcome you all to our conference on integrating diversity in the European Union. Uh, this is a midterm conference of our consortium Individu, Integrating Diversity in the European Union. And when Frank and I discussed this midterm conference last June, we were sitting in the garden in Skifanoia. And those of you who know the EUI and the Schumann Center know that to sit in the garden in Skifanoia is a wonderful thing. And at that time, we imagined a conference in Sala Europa in Skifanoia. Uh, and our intention was to bring together all of the consortium, but most particularly the postdocs involved, because they hadn't been hired when we held our launch conference. Uh, it was to be a networking conference. Unfortunately, COVID-19 has uh, impacted on our aims and ambitions for the conference, but we decided it was important to continue with the conference, albeit remotely because we're at the midterm point of our project and uh, it's important for us to look across the different uh, work packages uh, and because we have a very intense 2020 is a very intense year for the project into next year and when uh, looking at the panels today uh, they reflect what the added scholarly endeavor of this of this consortium in terms of the literature on DI. In addition to uh, updating data sets on DI and uh, building scenarios on the future of the EU in the context of DI, these four areas are particularly important to our, to our consortium. One, the integration of uh, data on what governments, parties and citizens think of DI. And in fact, uh, when we reviewed the literature, there isn't a strong, there isn't a strong body of knowledge. So that's one important area that we want to focus on. Secondly, other areas of flexibility, differentiation in regulation and implementation. Again, something that uh, is, I think, quite distinctive to our consortium. Thirdly, on the effects of DI that again has not been uh, researched. Uh, to any great extent, to some extent, but not any great extent. And then finally, uh, our panel on external differentiation, which has been brought sharply into focus because of Brexit. It has, Brexit will test the available EU models of um, engagement with uh, third countries in its neighborhood. So for these panels reflect what the value added of the academic scholarly value added of our consortium uh, will be. It's a great pleasure to welcome you all. I wish we were all sitting around Sala Europa in Skifanoia, uh, but this uh, needs must in times of uh, COVID-19. So now I will hand you over to Frank, who will also welcome you uh, and open the first session. Yes, um, good morning everyone and also a very warm welcome from, from my side. Um, like uh, Bridget, I very much regret that we uh, cannot meet on the beautiful premises of the, of the EUI uh, due to the virus. Um, and while uh, Zoom has probably saved our professional lives, uh, uh, we also know it is really bad when it comes to informal conversation and net networking, which was really uh, the, the purpose of this uh, midterm conference. Uh, but of course, uh, the other purpose of the conference is to, stake, uh, to take stock of where we stand uh, in the uh, different uh, um, work packages uh, of our collaborative project and I think we can we can still uh, fulfill that purpose of of our meeting uh, I mean the the other positive thing about meeting online today is of course that we are probably a larger group than we would be if we met in uh, person and that's also I think one of the advantages that we've all discovered yeah that it is that it now becomes very easy yeah, to just join conferences seminar meetings all around the world uh, without ever uh, having to uh, move from your living room or office or wherever you are. So uh, I also see that we are currently 53 people and um, we would probably be 
uh, a lot less. And I especially welcome those of you who are not um, members of our network, uh, but are um, uh, joining from the outside and uh, hopefully will uh, give us uh, important feedback on where we stand in our work. Uh, 